something strange has happened with the Manchester Ripper story. Now, you, you've all, you saw my film Blind Spot, you know, you've seen all the massive media coverage I got around the world on that. And then suddenly it goes very quiet in the last few months. Yeah, I know there's been a few bodies found, but you haven't fit the profile. And they haven't been in the, in, in the areas where, the, where it was normally happening. So they probably are suicides. The, 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 the bulk or the clustering that we started in 2008 again to last year stopped. Now, some people say it's because of all the, you know, the profile that I got, I got to the story and others has actually stopped the killer and he's moved to places like Bristol, but I don't know about that, so it's a tricky one. Now, what I find interesting is that Dr. Jackson, or Professor Jackson, the man who actually came up with the original idea of the serial killer, has completely retracted his, his, his theory. Out of the blue, he retracts his theory. I find that very, very strange. You know, his theory was sound, it made a lot of sense. And that's why it appealed to me and a lot of other people. And suddenly he's attracted, and even newspapers like the Manchester Evening News that gave a lot of, a lot of uh, coverage to this story, they don't really bother with it anymore. And the, the kind of momentum has fallen out of it. Uh, the, the killings may have stopped, and that's a good thing. But there's just something not right about it. It's like, it's almost like, I don't know, it's like either they, 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 someone at the top called off the killings, I don't get that impression, or it was a cult or something like that, or else it was some kind of, I don't know, I don't know, I, I can't explain it. I've never, it's been, a, it's the strangest thing what went down in Manchester during the pusher period. And who knows, maybe 20 years down the road, we'll find out that there really was a serial killer like the pusher in the London Underground who pushed people underneath trains, uh, tube trains, and got away. basically the cops hit it uh, because they didn't want to start a mass panic in the tra transport system. Who knows? I don't know. But I think it's, I think it's over. We'll never hear of whatever happened. Uh, the, the Manchester thing will just fade into oblivion. And it's almost like the state... The state sanctioned the belief in a serial killer and then the state switched it off.